Hello, this is Rev. Yosef Schreiber coming to you from the land of Israel. This week is Parshism, Vayechim, and in it Yaakov Avinu passes away at the age of 147. Um, and the brothers of Yosef, seeing that their father has, has died, become alarmed because they fear that Yosef is going to take vengeance upon them for selling him into slavery. They send him a message saying that their father uh, said that he should have mercy upon them uh, because they served the God of Yaakov. Yosef uh, meets with them and he assures them that he has no such intention and he says to them that you may have intended bad, but God intended good. Uh, the idea is, it's discussed by the Hassam Sofer, is that um, even though they may have attempted to do ill to Yosef, they did not succeed, therefore they are not liable for any punishment. Uh, someone who attempts to rob something but doesn't get away with it, uh, is not liable for robbery. Um, he continues that uh, Yosef also, his nature is that of a merciful individual, a kind individual, and not of one that is inclined towards uh, vengeance and retribution. So for two reasons, Yosef is not inclined to punish his brothers. Um, he adds the expressions, Hatachas Elohim Ani, uh, in the context that Yosef is, is saying, I'm subservient to God, meaning I have fear of God, meaning that um, even if I was so inclined, it's really not God's will that I should punish you. Therefore, uh, I'm not going to go in that direction. The idea of fear of God restraining um, undesirable behavior. Um, the expression, though, was used also by, by Yaakov Avinu when Rachel, upset because she is barren, goes to Yaakov and says, give me children. And Yaakov uh, angrily responds, am I in the place of God? Hatachas Elohim Ani. Uh, the word tachas can mean either in the place or it can mean below. Uh, however, the word hatachas with the in inquisitive hey it's only used three times in the Tanakh, these two, and the, th the third time it's used is by uh, Shimi. He's, uh, he insulted, um, he's insulted David Amalek, uh when David Amalek was fleeing from Avshalom, and um, when Avshalom is defeated, um, what happens is uh, that uh, Shimi comes to him and he asks him, uh, he praises him, he says, not, says nice things to him, and he says in exchange for his goodwill, he should be forgiven for his um, insult when David was, was, was on the run, using the word hatachas. Um, the Balatorim explains that um, he used this language because he had um, that that phrase came from Yosef, in that all of the other brothers had learned to speak the language of Yosef. Okay. Uh, the idea of the famine and going that the brothers really didn't do anything is uh, discussed in Psalm 105, that the famine came about because of... Um, uh, to bring the family down to Egypt and that the reason for it was 
to fulfill the words of um, the bris bain of Basurim between Avraham and Hashem, when Avraham asks, how will I know that I will possess the, my children will possess the holy land? And the idea of the um, descent into Egypt is that they will be purified there. In other words, that there are flaws in their belief and that there are things that they must learn. Uh, This is where you get to the comparison between the same expression being used by Yaakov in a harsh way and the same expression being used by Yosef in a very kind way. And in the case of Yaakov, it's reckoned as a sin, that he should have been much more kinder to Rachel, even though what she said wasn't correct. He should have been understanding that she was really undergoing a very severe test. And he was undergoing the same test, but it was harder on her. So what you have is the um, situation where Yosef is the rectification of this um, of this sin and this rectification of um, something that um, needs to be improved in Yaakov however uh, the brothers are drawn from the erroneous side of that expression and Yosef is the um, tikkun the rectification of this expression. And it's not just the words that it goes deeper than that. So it comes out that just like the expression was harsh and Yosef was kind, it was an expression of uh, contempt. Yosef's is an expression of fear of God. Um, it in in the case, what it means is that Yosef is going to be generally scorned and misunderstood by his brothers, and there is going to be a lot of bitter conflict as a result of this. However, in the end, he will prevail and that the brothers will understand the world the way that Yosef understands it and speak his language. Thank you.